some mistakes were made. And I have been elected, in part, to fix them. Breaking news, Boris Johnson, former Prime Minister, will not be standing for the Tory leadership. That leaves two candidates who have formally entered the race, former Finance Minister and frontrunner Rishi Sunak. Then there's a leader of the House of Commons, Penny Mordaunt, but she is lagging in support. We've got a parliamentary party which is completely riven and it's ungovernable. Sunak, can you read, unite the party? Rishi Sunak now has the support of half of Conservative MPs. I'm sorry, I've just got a uh, tweet here. Penny Mordaunt has dropped out of the race. I can confirm uh, that we have received one valid nomination. <laughs> Rishi Sunak is therefore elected as leader of the Conservative Party. We've got our first Br British Asian Prime Minister. Let's celebrate that. All this in the last few weeks, last couple of months, I think, you know, inshallah, is it? it is going to be a distant dream. Is it? I am humbled and honoured to have the support of my parliamentary colleagues and to be elected as leader of the Conservative and Unionist Party. Good morning. Seven weeks to the day since we last saw this process playing out. In point of fact, we may be seeing the King just moving up from Clarence House to Buckingham Palace. There you can see the crowd in front of number 11. And we're about to see, addressing the nation for the last time, the shortest serving British Prime Minister in history. I am more convinced than ever that we need to be bold and confront the challenges that we face. Our country continues to battle through a storm, but I believe in Britain and I know that brighter days lie ahead. Thank you. Liz Truss will make her way to Buckingham Palace and she will tender her resignation to uh, King Charles, the first time, of course, that he's presided over this important function of the British monarch. And then at about 11 o'clock, Rishi Sunak will uh, be making his way to Buckingham Palace. Rishi Sunak will attend, will be invited to form a government, and it is only at that moment, of course, that he becomes Prime Minister of the United Kingdom. He will then, of course, return to Number 10 Downing Street, which will become his home, and he will make that statement in front of the door. I want to pay tribute to my predecessor, Liz Truss. She was not wrong to want to improve growth in this country, but some mistakes were made. And I have been elected, in part, to fix them. And that work begins immediately. <laughs>